So let's take a look at how you can encrypt the message with SHA-256 in Golang. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open command prompt. And here I'm going to type in Go to see if I have command line options for Go compiler. Okay, so as you can see, I have the command line options. That means I have Go compiler installed properly and it is in my system path. Okay, next thing to do is open text editor such as Visual Studio Code and create one file let's name it demo.go okay make sure you have dot go extension so that we can properly execute go code okay so now also make sure that you're in the same directory where you have this demo.go file created it is in t drive and files folder okay now next thing to do is type in package main and then use import okay and also let me just close these notifications type in crypto and then let's say sh 256 also use fmt okay after that what you're going to do is you're going to use function main And inside function main, we are going to create, let's say, variable encrypt that takes sh256 dot sum256. And inside that, I'm going to have this byte that basically prints out some message so the name is my message that i want to encrypt and i'm going to use fmt dot printf then percent x and then encrypt okay as you can see this is pretty much the simple explanation for converting your message and then printing it out on console. Okay, you can go through the code and open the map prompt. Okay, and here type in go, run, and then demo.go. Okay, you can hit enter depending on your antivirus. You may notice some lag while returning the output. So I have a AG that produces my compiling uh, speed. And so make sure to enable or disable antivirus while running the Go code. Okay, also one more thing is to make sure you have S lowercase. Okay. That's it. And now come back to console and hit enter. Okay, as you can see, my antivirus compiled code first, then it lets my Windows command prompt execute the code. So it may take some time. And here is my output for encrypted string or you can say here word that gets encrypted with sha 256 you can go through the code and see if you can do it with file or any other big string that you have and replace this byte with that